What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Charles and you're watching Inform Overload. As always, don't forget to hang around to the end of the video so that I can respond to some of my favorite comments from past videos. But now, let's get into it. So, I'm sure you clicked in this video because just like me, you love everything to do with space and science. Science, yo, it's lit. You're also probably very aware of the Mars rover and some of the other devices we have investigating the planet from the air. Well, one such device, known as the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, has been doing just that and has recently returned some very interesting images for us to decipher. So, just like the planet Earth, Mars also has its very own spiders. However, unlike the eight-legged web-weaving creatures we have, Mars has its very own take on what a spider should look like. I should also note that also several hundred meters in size. Thankfully, very much unlike the spiders we have here on Earth. On Mars, a spider is generally multiple channels or troughs converging at a central body or pit, mostly found in the southern polar region of Mars. They've been aptly named spiders as the troughs emanating from the central pit resemble the body and legs of a spider. Scientists have been baffled as to how these spiders appear on the surface of Mars, but thanks to these recent images taken over a series of years, they may now have a bit of a better idea. Also, you're probably now relieved to know that Mars Mars isn't actually inhabited by giant planet covering spiders. Probably anyway. Images taken by the MRO over a number of years show an infant spider growing and expanding from a central point, which appears to be a sand dune or pit in the surface of Mars. Full sized spiders can take hundreds, if not thousands of years to reach full size. It is believed that they are formed when during the winter months, dry ice or frozen carbon dioxide forms in sheets over the surface of Mars. During spring, when it begins to thaw out, gas which is trapped below the sheet forms cracks in the surface of the ice and rushes out of them. When it does this, it brings dirt and sand up with it, eroding the way at the planet's surface beneath it. This process over a long period of time would create deep troughs and ravines in the planet's surface, which as you can see, would develop into these spider formations. It's super cool that we can deduce all of this from a series of images. Imagine how much we're gonna learn when we eventually place astronauts on Mars. I wonder how long it will be until that happens though. What do you guys think? Is it gonna happen in our lifetimes? And before we get into reading some of your old comments, here's a fun fact. One Mars year is roughly the same as 1.9 Earth years. So technically, I'm still a very young teenager, in Mars years anyway. Now on to your comments. Donut Deed said, this channel is the best channel in the universe. Now, I'm not sure if they have YouTube on other planets, let alone other galaxies, but if they did, we'd probably, you know, Next up, Princess Janet said, They aren't called jumpers, you don't jump into the sweaters. And since they're so hot, you can sweat in the sweater. Well Janet, just because you're a sweaty person, it doesn't mean that everyone else is, so keep your comments to yourself, thanks. Sarah Stone said, Is it pretty lit? Is it? Sarah, it's so lit, you, you, I can't even. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.